and welcome back. So on today's video, we're going to show you how to use the formulas as given in the book to solve for the uh, Laplace transform, whether it's the inverse or the regular Laplace transform. So using the formulas, it's an easier way to solve. Of course, not every single problem you can use it in the formulas, but there are some cases that you can, if you're using, you know, the correct tables or whatever you get your tables from online or the book, Sometimes for some specific cases, there's already a solution given to you. So let's look at this problem. Uh, we did it last time. We have 3s over s squared plus 9s plus 20. If you did, uh, did not see the video where we solved this using partial fraction decomposition, PFD, the link here, it's on the top. Go look at it, and then you'll see that we're going to get the same answer. But this time, we're going to solve it using the formula. And the way that you use the formula is pretty simple. Uh, once again, you can see the bottom, we can uh, simplify by factoring out, and it will be s plus four times s plus five. And at least in the book that we are using for our class, if you look at formula 12 on page 265 of our book, get this formula, where it says that the Laplace inverse of s over s minus a times s minus b the solution is 1 over a minus b times a e to the at minus b e to the vt. For this problem here, we have then that a should then be negative 4 and b negative 5. You can see because we have s plus 4 when we should have s minus a. So that means that a, a and the b are negative numbers. So that's basically all we need to do. We plug it in in our formula given. So we can factor out the three, of course, factor out the three, take the Laplace of that, and we're gonna have three times, so one over negative four minus negative five times negative four e to the negative four t minus negative five e to the negative five t. Simplify this, we could end up with like three over one times negative four e to the negative four t plus five e to the negative five t. And it simplifies to negative 12e to the negative 4t plus 15e minus 5t, which is exactly what we found using partial fraction decomposition. So once again, I'm, we're teaching you to work smart. So, I mean, if you're given this resource, we expect you to, to use them, right? Uh, we still want you to learn how this is works. We still want, want you to learn how um, everything works behind uh, the scenes. But if you're given the formula, then use it. You know, that's, that's what it is for you. You have the whole book at your disposition, any tables at your disposition. So as long as you know where that comes from and you told me which formula you're using, it's totally acceptable. Just make sure that you write it, where is it, where you find it, how you use it, and so on. But you can see we took probably like less than a third of the time than we did with partial fraction decomposition, and we got right to the exact same answer. So if you're faced a problem like this, don't doubt to use the formula. So familiarize yourself with the book, the formula, the table, so that you, you can use you know, your time appropriately. And instead of working in something that might be too tedious and, and, and difficult, just use the formula. And it's simple as that. So here's another example. Um, we have five over s times s squared plus nine. Um, so there's another formula like this one in the book. So if we look at formula 19 on page 265, instead of, we can solve this one using partial fraction decomposition, uh, where we would have, you know, a over s plus, in this case, we, could, we have the s squared plus nine. On the top, we would have bs plus c over s squared plus nine. So we would need to find the constants a, b, and c. And we need to find, you know, uh, we for sure will have like a number, and maybe like a cosine and a sine and then combine and so on. But just using this one, you can see that using formula 19, we are going to get that the Laplace inverse of uh, one over S times S squared plus omega squared. And the Laplace inverse of that, it's one over omega squared times one minus cosine omega T. So doing that, we can see that omega for this one is just three. Factor out the five, take the Laplace inverse of that. And then at the end, whatever you got, we multiply. So we have five times one over three square. 
times 1 minus cosine of 3t, which will then we simplify into 5 over 9, 1 minus cosine of 3t. So you can see it would have taken us a long time using P of D to solve this one. We would need to find A, B, and C, and then we need to combine them uh, and so on. But just doing this one was pretty straightforward. We didn't need to find anything else, and it was easier to do. So that's it for now using the formulas. Once again, if you're giving them the book, you are allowed to use them as long as you let us know which formula you're using. So on the next video, we're going to cover um, later on convolution, which is a different method, but it's still really useful for uh, certain applications. And then we're getting already close as to how to solve um, differential equations by putting everything here together and solving our problems. So until next time, good luck. <laughs>